Um, so five years ago, we started uh, a project called Bring the Happy right here in the market, uh, which has been to a lot of places since then and has grown a lot bigger. But we started in the, what is now Crep Hut and also the Marks and Spencer store. And uh, we had an installation that ran there. And then we made a live show with these guys, which is a really beautiful thing. Uh, we're not going to do the show for you today, I'm sad to say, but we are going to pick out a couple of little bits, little bits of it, we're going to do little bits of it, and uh, yeah, it's, it's weird to be back, but um, alright, here we go. <laughs> like it. Bring the Happy is a project about happiness. Memory 400, going to the plant shop in the market, and I sometimes buy a plant, 10 out of 10. So five years ago, we set out to map the happiness of the city of Leeds and its surrounding areas. Memory 42. Walking down Butchers Road in the market, I saw a black and white photograph of my dad in the 1940s, and it just took my breath away. This is where I come to remember him best, as he worked here, man and boy, 10 out of 10. Our plan was simple. We were going to take over an empty or a disused shop somewhere in Leeds city centre fill it with a giant map of Leeds and then ask people to mark onto it their moments and memories of happiness. Memory 533. Coming out of Leeds Station at the end of the war and seeing the statue of the Black Prince and knowing that I wouldn't have to fight. The best memory, 10 out of 10. So after weeks of searching, we opened a shiny, nice, pretty shop in the Light Shopping Centre. A day later, we were closed down and evicted. And so we spent a bit more time searching and found two beautiful empty stores right here in Leeds Cowgate Market. We ran our stores from 9 till 5, 6 days a week for two whole months and closed it pretty much to this day, five years ago. Memory 707, pet shop in the Grand Arcade. Puppies and kittens in the window and half a penny to look. They had exotic animals upstairs, a porcupine, and I held a baby monkey. It was the mid to late 50s, a 10 out of 10. So having begun here in Leeds, as you can imagine, the project's pretty much gone downhill from there. But over the last five years, we've been to Coventry, to London, to Brighton, to Stockton on Tees, to Exeter, to, Exeter, to Barnsley. And we've been as far away as Tbilisi in Georgia. But now we're back here in Leeds to share some of these stories with you again. Memory 653, my final meeting with my oncology consultant. It was in the new hospital, and he used the C word, cured, 10 out of 10. So last week, we got an offer, the kind of offer that you simply just can't refuse, without being in a Francis Ford Coppola movie or with a small Irishman at the other end. And it said, come and join us as we do 12 gigs in one day around Leeds. And we said, how could we possibly not? And so every person that we spoke to all those five years ago, we asked them to leave us a moment or a memory of happiness that had taken place anywhere within the city of Leeds. Tell us what it was, where it happened, and how happy it made them on a scale of one to ten. Memory 601. Sat downstairs with my daughter on my knee and hearing my son's first cries as he was born upstairs on Christmas Day in 1960. Ten out of ten. I've skipped a section, but never mind. Each memory was then marked into the map with its own unique 3D rod, the height of which was determined by that 1 to 10 happiness rating. Memory 308. Last week, I went to Ikea, made my purchase, and I was out again in 20 minutes. 1 out of 10. Yay! Memory 897. My dad was Irish, and they moved him into Corriehill Flats. I thought the flats were horrible, but he loved it there. And however, when I pass the buildings there now, I think about my dad, 10 out of 10. So over the years, we've spoken to parents, to grandparents, to teenagers bumping off school on first dates, to middle-aged couples, to drunks, to divorcees, to angry and lonely people. We've probably even spoken to some of you. Memory 1240. Seeing I was pregnant when I was told that I never would be, 10 out of 10. Some of the memories we get the most often are memories of first loves, of first kisses, or of meetings. Like memory 62, which simply went, a kiss that I wished for for weeks coming true.
I don't need to.